All right. So this is kind of be my tutorial for the new glitch with the bus stop. Um, this let me actually full screen that. This involves uh, disconnecting your controller on a certain frame during the bus stop animation. At least I'm pretty sure it's a frame perfect thing, but um, yeah, depending on what kind of controller you have, I'm using a Switch Pro controller uh, wired connected to my PC and it's pretty slow when I disconnect it and reconnect it. Um, I've seen people with a lot <laughs> faster connections. Uh, I think a wired 360 controller is pretty fast. Um, other than that, I'm not too sure where it varies, but it's not too bad either way. So, uh, basically what I, uh, to get the frame, what I try to do is disconnect the controller when the bus, like after the bus stops, it will bob down a little bit and then like be flat again and then bob back up for a frame or two. You can't really see it bobbing up just from like, you know, <laughs> seeing it go by. It's very, very slight. It's really hard to see, but uh, I pretty much try to disconnect the controller when the bus is flat again. So it will, it will come by, stop, and kind of the the left tail fin. That's kind of what I use. Is the left tail fin on the back of it? Will go up a little bit and then back down. And I disconnect when it goes back down. So I'll try to do that now. All right. That was pretty good. Um. Yeah. So now it's just a matter of frame buffering. I don't find it too hard to frame buffer, I basically just disconnect the controller and press A at the exact same time. And usually it's gonna give you a frame. 144 probably goes way slower. <laughs> Alright, so you see it going up now. It just, it buffered a frame up. Um, the frame you want is the second frame it starts going up. So I need to go one more frame. And that should work if I continue here. Alright, hopefully that uh, <laughs> helps a little bit. <laughs> 